It's a case we've been following for more than a year. New details revealed in court this week about the kidnapping of a Hot Springs teenager back in April of 2022. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Roly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. Tonight we're learning more about the two people involved as they both appeared inside a federal courtroom. THV 11 Jalissa Garza was there today for sentencing and joins us tonight with more. Jalissa. Roly Faith, it was April of last year when now 40 year old Samuel Bowling and 21 year old Dela Ferrer kidnapped a teenager from downtown Hot Springs and tried to force the victim's family to pay $10,000 in ransom. But today this case came to a close. This case is every parent's worst nightmare. What happened in this case is that a young girl was abducted in broad daylight off the streets of Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's a case that shocked Central Arkansas. It's all of our genuine hope that these strong sentences give the victim and her family a small measure of peace. According to the U.S. Attorney for Western Arkansas, Clay Folks, the teenage victim was lured into a car by Ferrer. Once inside their car, she was attacked by Samuel Bowling. He put a cover over her head. He struck her in the head so hard that the marks were still visible more than 24 hours later. And that was just the beginning of this nightmare for our victim. Folks sharing more in detail about what the teen went through, being blindfolded, restrained with zip ties, and he says left ultimately helpless. The truth is, is that we'll probably never know the true reason why these two decided to commit this horrible crime. Before Ferrer's sentencing, she made a statement to the judge taking responsibility for her part, but also claiming to be a victim of bowling. Her mom echoed that belief to us outside the courtroom. She said, she said, Mama, you have no idea what he did to me and what I had to go through and what in a short period of time. In her statement, Ferrer stated the kidnapped girl was kept in a bedroom and at some point was sexually assaulted by bowling. Ferrer says that's when she told bowling to let the girl go. We wish that she could have been brave enough and strong enough to go get help. Attorney Folk says Ferrer's statement seemed heartfelt, but it came too late. She had every opportunity to shorten the terror of this family and this victim, and she declined to do so. Bowling is expected to be in federal prison in Texarkana, and Ferrer is likely heading to a prison in Alabama. After serving her 15 years, she will have five years of supervised release.